our organization was founded on this campus in 1940. So we were an independent, standalone community hospital health system for more than 75 years. And then we joined Nebraska Methodist Health System in October of 2018. Here locally, not only do we have a hospital with all of the services that you would expect to be part of a hospital, but we also have a 20-bed inpatient behavioral health unit. We have a 106-bed long-term care, so nursing home, skilled nursing, and hospice facility. And then we also have our own home health and hospice agency. And so not a lot of hospitals our size have all of those components that are as diverse as, as we are here locally. We have about a thousand local team members. Um, that would include our, our employees, our medical staff, more than 200 members on the medical staff volunteers, so all told about a thousand local employees. The people I work with are professional and, and we're all part of a big team that works well together, very cohesive. All of us put the patient first and um, get to treat great people from the community too. I will 100% say this is like one of the best professions, such amount of opportunity and um, get to be a part of um, caring for people at some of their most vulnerable times. Certainly the last two years has been really hard and we're super proud of, of all the work that our team members have done the last couple of years in particular. We were short on supplies, we found ways to get around that. When we had shortage of, of beds, we found ways around that. When we had shortage of staff, we, we accommodated all of that and worked as a team, get everyone taken care of. We took care of uh, over 2,000 people here at our facility, including the ER and the urgent care and the um, inpatient side and Dunkel Gardens, uh, with over 400 patients uh, taken care of so far uh, with COVID on the inpatient side. We had at first a very big uh, organization out there at uh, Christensen Field providing vaccinations to the community and that was very successful and it was very rewarding for all the staff that worked out there to be able to uh, um, prevent uh, illness for all those folks. Unfortunately, through the pandemic, our role changed a lot. It wasn't just caring for people who came in with COVID, it's really preventing COVID from entering the building. Um, so, you know, really you went into lockdown and of course that was all regulated. Um, no visitation, you know, no outside entertainment no pets, no, I mean, pretty much lockdown. And then of course, anytime anybody would have a symptom or be tested positive, they went into isolation. If they had a high risk of exposure, they went into isolation. So really trying to be their family while they're in the facility when they could otherwise not have them come in the facility. We did do a lot of televisits. We tried to use um, IT types resources to get them connected back to their loved ones. Um, they all came and put posters out in front of their windows, visitation through the window uh, was really the best we could do for a long period of time. We feel really good about you know the results that we had and how well we cared for our residents. We have a super high vaccination rate in our facility, both for residents and for staff. It obviously, the last couple years um, put a different intensity to um, our work and situation as healthcare providers, but this is what we've been doing all the time. This is our work we've done and um, caring for people, caring for people that are going through some of the hardest things in their lives and um, and also at a, at a high intensity. You know, we have always had to do this work and so many times it was like, you know, we got this, we'll figure it out just like we always do. Best part about coming to work every day, um, the patients. <laughs> Number one, the patients. Um, always my first priority. Um, you know, I didn't I didn't become a nurse to, to win huge awards to get all this recognition. Um, I, can't, I became a nurse because I, I want to care for people. I love just the bedside care that we provide here. Um, personalized care, yeah, just everything. We have great leaders, we truly do. Um, yeah, our blessed. leaders are <laughs> yeah. amazing. It makes me happy when I see patients go home or family call the day after say thank you so much for all the care. Being around our employees are pretty inspiring every day to see the great work that they do. And then, you know, I think in a small community it's also nice that, um, you know, there's not a day that goes by that I don't see somebody here getting care that I don't know, um, know personally. I think that's really rewarding 
as well as we kind of see ourselves as taking care of our of our own friends and family. I work because I love what I do and I feel needed and, and I think they give me the, the hope and the strength that I need so I, I can't imagine being anywhere else.